Look at this thing. What even is it? I don't know what you'd call it, but I do know that when I hover this card and it appears, I love it. Nicely done, Chronicle. Now, someone with a greater understanding of design, please tell us in the comments how so few pixels can be so wonderfully impactful. And while I can't tell you that, I can show you how to recreate it. Because the reality is that this little fella is nothing more than a linear gradient. But just as important as what it is, is how it's perceived by the user. Upon closer inspection, we'll find that this gradient is just one pixel wide and a few dozen pixels tall. It starts transparent, fades to a color, and then back to transparent. If we temporarily make it wider, we'll find that it appears no different than any other gradient. But as we reduce the width, we'll notice that eventually, because our eyes are not able to perceive a single pixel very well, it begins to look more like a fragmented shard. So if we hit up our friendly neighborhood code pen, throw together a basic card with some text inside, and then save it as private, well actually that's a super handy pro feature that I use all the time, so my pen doesn't show up in my profile before I finish a video. We can then slap our gradient into a pseudo element, position it absolutely along the left side and down a little ways from the top, not forgetting to set content to an empty string so our after element shows up, and to set position relative on the card so the left and top values correspond to it rather than the whole document. After setting a transition time on the top and opacity properties, we can shift those values on hover so our shard fades into view. Remember to use this one wisely, friends. Gradients are powerful tools, and with great power comes gradient responsibility.